Okay guys, I'm Roy and I do advanced 3D printing, 3D modeling and prototyping content. And today we're going to look at the Duet Y5, one of the best 3D printer controllers out there and how to install firmware on the Duet. When you get the Duet, it typically has an old firmware like 1.21, but you do want to upgrade to 3.0 and I have some tricks and tips on how to do that. So let's get going. So what you see in the screen now is a typical uh, Duet Wi-Fi 2, uh, the 1.04 version and uh, it's a, this is a clone uh, looks uh, similar to the genuine duet and there are uh, some um, important uh, points on this board i want to show you which we are going to use when we are going to upgrade to 3.0 this board typically comes with uh, firmware 1.21 and um, the easiest way to get to 3.0 is actually to delete the old firmware and to install the 3.0 from scratch. If you upgrade to 2.0 and then 3.0 and 3.1, then it's a very tedious process. It's not so easy as to actually install the 3.0 from, from scratch. To do that, you need a jumper for this erase button. It's not a button, but it's a, you need to jump these uh, pins to be able to er erase uh, stuff. But don't do that yet. I'm gonna go through the process first. Over here, we have uh, the reset uh, button to the left. You also need to use that one. Here you can see the connection diagram. And again, we can see the erase pins. This diagram is also very helpful when you are going to connect your board to your printer. Also, the board does not come with a SD card. So you need, a, let's say, a 16 gigabit SD card. You need a good one, so buy that. And then we need to load some files onto this SD card. I will put some links down below on how to format and create the file structure for the SD card. And also for all other um, references I will point to, I will link to down below. The first thing you want to do though is to connect to your Duet with a USB cable. So you can do this all before you um, put the board into your printer. That's much easier to have it on your desktop or something. Then you download the USB drivers so you can connect. And you should be able to locate your Duet Wi-Fi in the device manager on Windows. Now you want to install Yacht to be able to talk to your board. So I'm going to put a link down below so you can install that. Follow these instructions on the Duet Dusoki. After installing Yacht, you should be able to connect to your computer uh, following this step 4 on the Duet Dusoki. Now we can check our firmware versions. So write M115 in uh, Yacht and uh, hit enter and then you should be able to check your uh, firmware version and typically this is uh, 1.21 or something. You do want to get up to 3.1 and that's what I'm going to help you with now. Now we are actually going to delete the firmware which is on the Duet because uh, upgrading is a tedious process. I mean it's much harder way to go than to actually install the 3.1 from scratch. And to do that, we want to use fallback procedure number three in the installing and updating firmware on the Duet Dusoki. Before you go on, you want to install Bossa so you can uh, talk to the chip on your uh, board. There are links on Dusoki, on the Duet Dusoki. I will also leave this link down below. So here is the link to Bossa 1.9.1. We also need to download the latest firmware. So there's a link here. It will take you to release 3.1.1. After installing Bossa, connect to your Duet by USB. We are going to do the erase for board 1.04. There is a jumper on the latest boards, as you can see here, and here, and here. So jump these two pins and then you have erased your old firmware. Just follow the fallback procedure. So now remove the erase jumper 
As soon as the DIGLED lights up, you're now in programming mode. Then you can click the reset button. It's the one that we see here next to the USB connection. Now load Bossa or Samba if you use that. It usually detects the COM port automatically. If you use Bossa, it's very important to check boxes, erase all lock and boot from flash. It looks like this. So we want to check uh, erase all lock boot to flash. From the release 3.1.1, we want to download the Duet 2 combined firmware bin. So just download that to anywhere on your computer so you can find it. Then from Bossa, browse to where you put your file and open. I'm not connected in my Bossa. It does not let me click right, but you, you should be able to do that now. So just follow these points, press right and then verify. Then you should press reset on your board again and now you should be able to connect with Yacht again and then do M115 and check your firmware. It should now be 3.1.1. You might need to upgrade the Duet Wi-Fi firmware bin also uh, separately. Um, this I'm not sure about. It might be enough with Duet uh, combined firmware bin. You can load these two bin files onto your uh, SD card in the sys folder um, and uh, you can put your SD card in and then boot and then everything should be okay. So you can follow these points here for that. Now you can go back to the getting connected guide and you should be able to enable a network module. So just follow this step six in the connected guide. It is uh, step six and step seven to get connected to the Wi-Fi. After doing that, you should be able to access uh, your uh, Duet from the Duet web control. So that is step nine in the getting connected the guide. Your IP address you should get from Yacht. Now we want to configure our config file. This is different for every 3D printer. So I'm going to use custom configuration. I'm going to use the online configuration tool. So I'm going to link to that down below as well. So we're just going from start here, custom configuration. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to check read config override. We are going to use uh, firmware 3.0 or later. And you can put your name on your printer here. And then you choose what kind of uh, system you are running. Mine is a Core XY. And then we put in our bed size. So for the wee baby, it's 200 by 200 by 200. And we can just leave the homing speeds as default. Uh, we can up the travel speed to, let's say, 200. I have three fans, so I'm going to add a third fan here. We're going to use fan two for that. The, that is the one cooling the drivers. You can change your sensors here if you have different sensors. Like I have a PT1000 on E0. So just uh, choose your uh, sensor here or just leave it uh, as a stock. So let's go to the motor section. You can change your steppers here going forward or backward. I'm going to leave them forward. And I want uh, interpolation on and 16 micro steps. So that leaves me at 80 uh, steps per, per millimeter. I'm gonna leave it at 15 for uh, jerk. Uh, max speed, I'm gonna up to, let's say 500. You can use 300 or, yeah. Acceleration, I'm gonna up to, let's say 5000. And I'm going to leave the current at 800. On the C, uh, I'm going to turn off interpolation. I don't see any need for that there. And uh, change your stepping. So mine is um, 2756. I want to up the jerk a little bit, let's say 2.5 on the C. And I want to up the max speed as well to, uh, let's say, 5. And acceleration could be. Uh, Usually I go with 100 and uh, the motor current usually I turn down a little bit on the C for the wee baby. Um, you have to figure out your own there. Also for the extruder, I'm going to turn off interpolation. Use uh, calibrate your E steps. So I'm using 406 on the wee baby. I'm going to turn up, up 
the jerk a little bit to let's say 10 and I'm gonna choose 100 for max speed on the extruder just to have some room to play with and acceleration I think um, I want to go with uh, 1000 motor current I'm gonna leave at uh, 800 I might want to up that later and the reduce motor currents it's okay as it is for end stops I'm gonna do switch and switch and low end low end and C probe we're gonna have uh, low end as well I want to go back to uh, IO mapping because I need to configure my BL touch something has changed here because before I was able to choose uh, um, extruder 3 and now that's not an option so I'm not sure what to do I'm going to try to use uh, duex pvm3 but we don't have a duet so this is sort of strange for me so I'm going to go to uh, BL touch here now on end stops and you can put in your trigger height. Uh, we can start with two millimeter, just uh, adjusting that later. We want to activate PID for a heated bed. Set your temp limits here. I'm gonna up the nozzle temp limit to let's say 300. You can change your sensor here, your temperature sensor. So uh, typically if you have the genuine uh, V6 from E3D, it's the Semitech 104 GT2. Here you can set your uh, temp limits for when the fan is going to start. Fan zero is for cooling the filament. So that has no uh, temperature mode trigger. Fan one is for the cooling the hot end and it starts at 45 C. For cooling the drivers, I typically put like 180 in here. It does not need to run when the printer is not moving. We can check also select the first tool on startup and then next. So for probing the bed, we can do 200 for maximum and also 200 for maximum on the Y. This you can tune later also. I have my own settings here. Leave it like this and then we can tune it later. Here you can put in your Wi-Fi connection if you want to have that in the config. So just put your Wi-Fi name here and your password there. Then we are on the finish line. So I'll just click finish. We want to download this as a zip file. Uh, save it somewhere. From Do it Web Control, you can now upload this to your system. So go to system. You can click here, upload system files. Just go to your file and open and then everything will just uh, upload and uh, you will reboot and you have all your uh, latest configurations uploaded to the board and everything should be great later you can go inside your config and do changes there and just save them and then reboot and you're up and running so that's in short how you uh, upgrade your Duet Wi-Fi to 3.1.1 in a safe and uh, sound way. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Any comments, leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe for more advanced 3D printing content. And I'll see you guys soon.